My name is Clara. I'm on the designer advocate team and I tend to use Fig Jam for all things planning, particularly on trips. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. So talk us through your trip planning process. Where do you start? So I used to start in a spreadsheet, yep. but I think I liked the infinite canvas of Fig Jam to sort of explore and pop in different links. So you can see that I actually did create a bit of a table just yeah. to start with some structure, as well as putting in, you know, where I'm staying, morning, afternoon, evening. This is sort of like the very bare bones of where I would be, things like flights. Yeah. And then if you are traveling with different folks, I like to create a section yeah. for the major areas we'll be in. Yeah. And then if people want to go to specific areas, they can just pop in the link. And it's super nice that when you paste in a link, it just unfurls and then you can get like a visual of what's happening. So that makes it really easy to see what people want to do. Absolutely. And what types of things are you popping in links here for? What kind of research are you doing here in these sections? Yeah, I think it's all the things. Okay. So for this top area where it's city specific, so yeah. Tokyo, Kyoto, et cetera, yeah. that like a catch-all and people okay. can just drop in whatever. Yeah. But the sections below that is more specific. So mm. shopping versus sightseeing versus eating, that split it up a little bit more. Just so we can capture who wants to do what and we can integrate that into the trip. How do you prioritize from all the ideas that you capture? Yeah, from there, normally I'll just sit down with the person, in this case, my husband, yeah. and be like, hey, what do you think about this? Have the board up yeah. and be like, ooh, that looks like a really solid option. Let's make a reservation or maybe uh, we can deprioritize this one. Like if we're in the area, we can go. Yeah. Otherwise we can skip it. But yeah. our method of travel is just drop a bunch of pins and then yeah. if, if you can make time for it, maybe put your like top item, okay. go for that. And then if you have time, hit the other spot. I love that. Of these things that you put on the board from the trip, any highlights from any of these cities that you went to? Shopping. Okay. So love visiting the bookstores, some of my favorite shopping in general. Whenever I go to city, I love magazines. Mm -hmm. And so just flipping through them, yeah. smells, maybe it's the book glue. I love the smell of books. So there's books and then sightseeing. I love gardens, specifically okay. Japanese gardens. Mm -hmm. They're just so serene and calm yeah. and yeah. so well manicured. Stunning, I can never do it. I don't have a green thumb. I got to pay to go to these gardens. <laughs> I see this questions section over here. What are you putting in there? Oh yeah, I think just logistical questions like which pass do we need to buy? Yeah. What are the pros and cons? Yeah. Where do I buy them? Should I get it before the trip? Things like that, just to make sure we have all the bases covered. Fantastic, I love that. Anything else you would recommend as folks are thinking about planning their trips and, and what to fit into a trip when they're looking to go to a new city? Trip planning is always interesting because everyone has different travel styles. Yeah. And sometimes I feel like that's more important than the actual itinerary. Yeah. But I don't know, I'm just having fun with it. Yeah. What yeah. would you say is your travel style? I think it's slow. Like I'm a slow traveler. Okay. Like instead of hitting everything super fast yeah. and having a packed schedule, I don't like to have reservations back to back. So maybe like one or two reservations max yeah. a day. Yeah. But just take time to walk around and explore. Yeah. So a slow traveler. Well, thank you for walking us through your trip planning process. Mm -hmm. Give us a few tips. I love this idea of, again, gathering all your research, collaborating together to decide what you want to do and just putting a pin in things for when you have time. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Happy planning. Happy traveling. <laughs>